Here's the key that you have to remember. To write the equation of circle, you have to have the center and you have to have the radius. Okay, you have to have the center and you have to have the radius. Now in number nine, they just give us both those pieces of information so we can just plug them in to our standard form equation. So the other detail that you have to remember is you always change the sign. So we've got x minus eight squared plus y minus eight squared is equal to the radius squared. So they gave us the radius, all we have to do is square it. Okay, that would be the equation for the circle for number nine. All right, now number 13 is not quite so straightforward. They give us the center, so we can go ahead and write the left side of the equation, x minus 13 squared plus y minus 12 squared, but we don't have the radius. Okay, we don't have the radius. So let's just draw a very quick sketch of what we do have. Okay, they give us the center is over here at 13, 12. Now that's not very um, uh, to scale, but I'm just giving myself a visualization here. And then they give me a point on the circle is at 7, 12. So essentially what I've got here is I've kind of got this going on. I've got a point out here on my circle and I have the center. So what would be the distance between that point on my circle and the center? It is five, okay, it, or no, not five, six, okay, because we're at seven here and 13 here. It's six, um, and what do we call that in terms of the circle? What, what is that segment right there? That's the radius. That's the radius. Now, if it wasn't directly beside it, what if the point was up here and I couldn't just count the units there and say that they were six? What would I have to do to find that distance between the point on the circle and the center? Use the distance formula. I specifically use the word distance to point out um, that you need to use the distance formula. Now, let me show you. It would have worked, okay? It would have worked um, the same way, 13 minus 7 squared plus 12 minus 12 squared. It would have given us the same information as what we figured out when we drew the picture. Okay, 13 minus 7 is 6. 6 squared is 36. 12 minus 12 is 0. Okay, so that would give us that the distance is 6. That's the radius the equation is equal to the radius squared. But I wanted you to, I wanted to draw the picture because I wanted you to see what they're giving you. Okay, anytime they give you new information like that, if you can draw a picture, draw a picture and hopefully it can kind of help lead you in the right direction of what you need to do with that information. Okay, I'm just trying to give you some hints and tips for how to solve problems. Okay, 21. They give us the center again, that's good. That, that allows us to write the left side of our equation, so let's go ahead and do that. X minus 13 squared plus Y plus one squared, because it was negative one, we changed the sign. Again, we need the radius for the other side. They don't give us the radius, they give us the circumference. So what is circumference equal to? What's the circumference formula? How do we find the circumference of a circle? 2 pi r. Okay, the circumference equation is 2 pi r. They give us the circumference. They tell us that it's 4 pi, so the pi's cancel. So 4 is equal to 2 r, so what's my radius? 2. The radius is 2, and 2 squared is 4. Okay, now, it just works out in this case, because 2 squared and 2 times 2 is the same amount that that ends up being equal to 4. Just because they give us the circumference, it's not just going to be the number part. Okay, If that were 8 pi, your radius squared would not be 8. Okay, It just works out in that case. Okay, So what if, and I'm not going to do an example like this, but you've got some there on your paper, they don't give you the circumference, they give you the area. So what's our area formula for a circle? Area equals pi r squared. So you'll do the same thing, okay? You'll do the same thing. Um, 
But look, you've got pi times r squared. r squared is what our equation is supposed to be equal to. Okay, so there's really not a whole lot of solving we have to do there. All right, so the key is you got to know your center. Most of the time they give that to you. And you got to know the radius. So they give you something that you're able to figure out the radius with.